I stand at your gate And the song that I sing is of moonlight I stand and I wait Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friends and I play the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. The scenario is Like Ships in the Night. It was written by Morgan Llewellyn, and he is also our keeper of arcane lore. This is a one-shot. So without any further delay, let's begin our journey into the darkness. Morgan? Thank you very much, Tom. It is the night of February the 4th, 2023, around 10 p.m. The crews of two fishing trawlers, the Osprey and the Hemingway, are preparing to embark on their next voyage. It has only been three days since their last, and this one could last up to anywhere around two weeks, depending on how long it takes to fill the ship's hold with Atlantic cod, or or if weather or dwindling supplies uh, may force them to return partially filled and at a loss. Everything from mortgage payments to keeping themselves fed depends on the catch. The phrasing spray off the ocean catches the light from the near from the nearly full moon as the Osprey undergoes final preparations. Let's meet her crew, beginning with the skipper himself. Uh, I am uh, the captain of uh, the Osprey. Uh, my name is Michael Swift. Everybody calls me Skipper. Um, let's hope. Uh, that St. Nicholas watches over us and keeps us safe on the ocean and brings us home safe to our families. And going down kind of order of seniority, uh, Jim Reeves. Uh, Yes, my name's Jim Reeves. I'm a 20-year veteran of the sea. Spent all my adult life fishing. That's all I know. Um, I've been with the skipper here for about the past 10 years. And uh, it's been a real good, real good uh, ship for me to be on. Absolutely. Good crew. And to Vince Ganser. Uh, yeah, uh, the name's uh, Vince Ganser, uh, New Bedford uh, family for generations. Uh, Ganser men have been working the docks since uh, the old days. Docks aren't what they used to be. Uh, we didn't always have to smell like fish to make a living. But, uh, yeah, the Osprey's not a bad ship. The skipper seems like a right guy. Uh, I'm looking forward to warmer season. But, uh, you know, you do what you got to do, right? Then on to Ishmael. All right. Uh, Ishmael Ish is hard at work. Just uh, a big fella, big beard, and this ship... Needed a little bit of love when I got on board, but uh, I've got that engine just parring fine. As long as I'm on board, we'll be smooth sailing. And last and not least, uh, Robbie. Robin or Robbie Canaday uh, just turned 18 a couple weeks ago. Um, left home, little town of Grand Isle, Louisiana. Grew up on a trip boat. And hoping to uh, translate those skills onto a fishing boat. I imagine Robbie is trailing after Ish like a little lost puppy most of the time. Yeah, so a a truck is just pulled up with your food supplies that you're going to need for up to two weeks. And get all that loaded on board. Let's uh, do an overhaul, make sure everything's working okay. Yeah, Robbie and I'll start hauling. Yeah, Robbie, you watch uh, watch Ishmael learn how to do stuff. Lift with your yeah, legs, yes, sir. Yes, Robbie. Sir. Legs. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, Ish. Yeah. Oh, Reeves, could you go downstairs and check? Or downstairs, downstairs. Go, go. Uh, what the heck? Go to the engine room and check, make sure everything's uh, looped up and ready to go. Hi, right, Skipper. And uh, uh, Gansa, you can uh, check over where we're going to be uh, heading. I see the uh, the Hemingway over there. They're getting ready too. Uh, 
We'll wish them luck. I'd like to get out of here before they do. Just a little. Healthy competition keeps things uh, from getting too boring when the weather's bad like this. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, I'm watching the, uh, the weather, too. There's a, there's a little front that's kind of far off coast now, but it could move back, so we'll keep an eye. Cool. And I assume so, we've we've taken care of make sure everything's in good working order, not to repair it. Yep, you've uh, the time that you spent in port, you've uh, repaired, patched up any nets that you needed, um, made sure everything is a uh, as said as it as it can be. I mean, for your little competition to see who gets out of port first, uh, the Osprey or the Hemingway. Um, first, we need to check on the loading crew. So if Ish and Robbie will give me strength checks. Oh, 12. Yeah, it's almost an extreme. I got, this, I got this, Ish. My back. <laughs> uh, oh. So yeah, Ish, you can you you can blame it on you're 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 being slow because you have to help the new get the new kid, you know. I think I pulled something, Robbie. <laughs> this this bag of chicken nuggets is heavier than it looks. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, oh I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh wow. You got it from here, right? Absolutely. Yes, yes, right. yes, sir. I got it. Great. I'm gonna limp in and uh lean against something for a little bit. All right, so as Robbie is finishing up um, all of the rest of the loading, um, Jim, if you want to give me mechanical repair. Yes. That is a, that is no, that is not a pass. No, I mean, as far as you're aware, everything looks good. Okay. Yeah, I kind of touched this with that you know oh it seems tight this looks good yeah and the computer screen says everything's fine so there's no need to disagree with it okay check the weather make sure we're going to avoid any bad weather yep and vince was keeping track of that front up in the wheelhouse on the on the weather monitors and as the final loading has been completed by Robbie, the truck drives away, you're all on board, and you depart. But unfortunately, the Hemingway just beats you by just a little bit. Ah, sons of bitches. Whatever. Uh, Keeper, who is the captain of the Hemingway? The captain of the Hemingway is Skipper Michael's uh, uncle, Joshua Swift. An older man, he's approaching retirement at this point. Yeah, that's my uncle. It's not really a big deal until we get around, uh, you know, Thanksgiving when he starts making fun of me for not getting out before he did. That's a long way off, but he's got a good memory. We have to outdo him this 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 season, boys. My question is, did he uh, drop some of the supplies, fifty bucks, just to uh, drop by there first to give them a little advantage? I doubt that he would do anything like that. <sighs> Caesar comes; he's look good. Hopefully, when the sun comes up, we won't have a red sky. You know what they say. Meteorology is better than superstition. That's the last thing you're supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> Been over this. Um, so, yep, so you, and so about around two a.m. Um, so I've been sailing for about oh, four hours now. Um, you've kind of gotten. Uh, into the area of the ocean where you kind of want to fish and time is money. So all right, to see how, how successful your first 
endeavor at fishing is. Um, I'm going to have you all make some rolls. So from the skipper, we need you to make a pilot boat. <laughs> I got an old one. Ooh. Way too soon. Well, old one out of 70. You using this latest sonar you've gotten installed, you you found quite a nice school of fish um, so. to target um, that you're hey. kind of following. Um, it's not actually see. knowing anything about fishing. I assume you kind of move around them and get them into a big clump, and then you mm-hmm. throw them. And that's what the sister ship you kind of help funnel yeah. uh, fish together. Um, Vince, if you want to roll operate heavy machinery as you're kind of up in the wheelhouse operating the heavy winches that actually do most of the lowering and the raising of the net. All right. <laughs> 007. Dark Ooh, we, strong. We know how to fish. Couldn't possibly go downhill from here. Couldn't possibly. Then on deck, the three others. Um, you guys feel a lot of pressure all of a sudden? What's up with yeah, that? Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So you guys have a couple of responsibilities. Um, there's kind of a series of chains and things that need to be moved, prepared, lowering the doors into the water, catching, reattaching the doors that they keep the net open when it's underwater. But those are attached separately to the ship. You lower you. Lower them down, you raise them back up, attach them, start moving, doing more intricate movements with the nets and things. So, Ish, uh, Ish or Jim, which one of you is looking after the new kid? I can look after him, Jim. Yeah, I I, I think it's best for you. Um, oh, hey, uh, Candidate, got a gift for you. Oh, what yeah, yeah. I got you these little arm floaties. <laughs> I know how to swim, Jim. <laughs> oh, these are cool. They got their Peppa Pig. You know, it's like the thing for the kids these days, right? And Bobby, you can't turn down a gift. It's bad luck. Thanks, Jim. That's so nice of you. To think <laughs> about me. You're welcome. I try to keep an eye out on everybody. All right, so Jim, we'll have you um, just roll roll dexterity, just being generally on top of things, noticing things. Um, Ish and Robbie, that leaves you two with the hardest of the physical work. So I need you both to roll strength. Uh, Ish, we'll have you roll at disadvantage because uh, you're barking the commands and warnings at, at Robbie. Yeah. Oh, another 12. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard success. <sighs> Just a regular for Ishmael. He's a little distracted. Yeah, I just got a regular. Hey, perfect. So. Looking like clockwork. You start hauling up out of the sea. Um, the net's almost bursting with cod. We're going to make some um, money today, boys. Gonna have yes, this is, this, is, um, this is what profit looks like. Yeah. Um, I'll put the hatch, boys. So, Robbie and Ish, you run over, you pop open um, these little great things on the floor, and you literally get snow shovels, and you start shoveling these tons of cod down into the tank. Next net is lowered for the... um, And then as you're waiting for that to be ready... um, it's time for some gutting. Everybody's favorite activity. So Could we we do that right now, or you you gut them as soon as you can. That helps them like stay. But do we have a refrigeration unit then? That yeah, there's there's cold? refrigeration. You gut and you refrigerate them. Okay. We also pick out anything that's not cod. That's not cod. Yeah. Yeah, I think Robbie lost a water wing. <laughs> oh yeah, look, it's a Pippa Pig in the vat. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, go on, you're uh, supposed to keep track of that kind of stuff. 
Robbie, yeah. you're going to need to get that out of that. You're going to need to get that fish specifically. Yeah. Get that Peppa Pig back. Oh, really ish? Yeah. You ever gutted a fish before like this? You did shrimp, right? Yeah, I grew up on a shrimping boat. Can't be that different. I actually don't know shrimp. Fish. All right, let's get to gutting. All right, so Skipper, your four um, very able crew members are down below yep. gutting through cod, and you're up monitoring things. I'm steering, yeah. Um, and as you're steering, everybody's kind of down below. Um, your weather monitor starts to chirp at you. Got a got a storm coming, boys. Great. And you're looking at it, and it says you're looking at it, and so you're seeing the friends coming from one direction, and then all the arrows seem to flip, saying it's coming from the other direction. And then the other direction. And what's the horizon look like? Can we see anything yet? Um, you you look out on the horizon and you see, yeah, the sea is starting to going. The waves are getting a little more pronounced. Let's say. Um, and as you're you're looking across the horizon and you're you almost have to shield your eyes. It's like the glare from that moon right. is. Is seer bright? Yeah, very bright. Um, I will immediately radio to the Hemingway. Um, there's probably some sort of XB nine three one two four five D. This is uh, this is uh, Captain Swift. Um, uh, is uh, is Joshua there? Joshua Swift? Captain Joshua Swift. Sorry. Yeah, this is... Yeah, you're speaking to him. Sonny, uh, cool. what's, what's uh, going cool. on? Oh, cool. You're getting the same readings I am on the the, uh, the weather? Weird. Uh, let me check. Let me go. That's for a second. Uh, just uh, seems like there's some a front coming in from the uh, the northeast, but um mine keeps switching places like back and forth like something's something's glitchy yeah that's uh not not reading you there um, all right i'll call you back i'm gonna um i'm gonna call in the coast guard uh over and out um and then i'll i'll call in on the, the... yeah you call you call in the port uh radio port and they confirm the same thing. The only thing they see is the front coming in from the northeast. Northeast. Um, how severe do they say that it looks? Uh, we're still monitoring. You should be. You should be fine out there. Um, there's been no severe uh, weather alert for it yet. Uh, we will let you know immediately if things change. All right. I give them our coordinates. Well, they can probably track our coordinates. And I relay that then to them anyway. Well, they they might have done it themselves already. So, but I'll I'll still relay it back and forth. Yeah, but does it feel uh in the uh in the upper hold where we're processing, mm -hmm. does this feel strange? Is it like I've got sea legs? Is is it is it does it not feel right? It for you were you kind of came down out of the wheelhouse, came down, you were feeling the wind. Um, but the amount that you're moving, that strikes you as as weird. The weather seemed calm to you, but the water is Yeah. yeah just elbow the button on the intercom and say, Skipper, it feels like you're uh, sideways to these uh swells or something. We're really getting tossed around down here. Okay, we're we're coming in. Uh, I've got a message into the the Coast Guard. They said they're going to warn us if there's anything severe coming up. Uh, other than that, uh, I guess we're just going to keep going. Sorry, it's a little rough. Uh, you feel like sushi later? Sure, anytime. I love cod. Ten thousandth time I've made that joke. 
thousand time I want that cod. <laughs> ask Robbie for a constitution roll real fast. Um, okay, yes. This is a, I mean, this is a lot of fish guts. Right. Shrimp for one thing. This is. Oh, no, that's a 96. Robbie's losing his cookies. <laughs> Don't. Oh, I can't. I'm not there. So. Oh, God, it smells terrible. I didn't think it could be any worse than shrimp. <laughs> Oh my god, Robbie, Robbie, put down the knife, and here's a mop. You gotta okay, take care of your own mess. Yep. <laughs> Tell you what, what you're gonna need to do is just take some of the leftovers and bring them into your cabin and just acclimate. That's the only thing for it. Are you Are you sure about that? Hey, yeah. we all did it. He winks at Jim. Oh yeah, yeah. It's this is this is the way to do it. It just helps get you part of your sea legs, you know. Get you used to the the whole rhythm of the job. Well, you're the experts. So, Robbie, with your mop and your very strange uh, new task, um, and the smell, you eventually kind of get driven just for some fresh air, um above deck and while you you go up there you swallow in that salt air um you hear a this kind of wet thud behind you captain that you and then, as you turn then you hear another one closer yeah, to the front I'm, I'm of the looking ship. around see if i can discern what it is uh you're looking around in the dark and do you yeah, pull out a on something, and there's like a yeah. You you grab a light, and you see something kind of flopping on the deck. Oh, fish. And you get closer. Yeah, to yeah. It, I mean, I'll and it's it's long. Is it translucent? It's got all these like tentacles coming off of it like it's a, like it's a squid or something huh i don't think i've ever seen a shrimp like and, that yeah it's i mean a fish like that yeah it's about a foot and a half long i'm gonna try to capture it because i really want to impress ish and gem with this new find this new yeah you it's 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 flopping it's flopping you you grab it um like a bucket, maybe I can like yeah yeah you you trap a bucket, you scoop it up, and then you you turn around to go back down below and you see another one fall from above, flops onto the huh. flops onto the ship. Boy, that's strange. Uh, yeah, I'll 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 take what I have, and go down below. Uh, ish, Jim. Come, come look this. I got this new. Never seen a fish like this before. A couple of them just fell on deck. <laughs> the smell is awful. God. I can. What, Vince? You, Vince, look you, at this. What? What is? This? You look at. You look in the bucket, and it's this grayish, translucent. Um, is it shining blue now? Is it bioluminescent? How many eyes does this thing have? Seven, eight? So we can all give you sanity rolls as you're looking at this now in the light. Oh no. God bless Robbie. He's not gifted in these knowledgeable things, no. (laughs) So if you if you pass your sanity, it's just one. Um if you fail, it's one d four. Three. Uh, wait, uh, maybe. Uh, it's. Uh, I think you know some... what. Honestly, I I rolled. I I got three. I think I drop it and like I'm starting like ah, what is it? Yeah. As captain and looking out the front uh, wheelhouse, do I see these things falling on the? Yeah, the yeah. You you. You heard Robbie kind of say something and move around, and you're like, "What's that kid doing?" And yeah, all of a sudden you're just sitting there, then just on like that front 
window of the wheelhouse where you're looking out, just this thing just flops onto it and then down onto the deck. What the devil? Uh, again, elbow the intercom. Uh, Captain, there's uh, the kid found some, I don't know, mutant uh, jellyfish or. Uh, yeah, I, um, I see them there. Forms. But they're, they seem to be falling out of the sky. Or they they can and, jump real high and they're landing on the deck. Um, some sort of squid or jellyfish? I can't see from here. Is the swell tall enough to be tossing these things out of the water? I don't know. There's a lot of strange things in the ocean. More it's things out of the thin, ocean. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Some kind of in, arthropod, or I don't know. If it's got any hard parts. You you start feeling it. It's it feels gelatinous, like you're not feeling bones. Some kind of squid Vince, or or yeah. jellyfish. You hear in the back. Hey Vince, can I cut this up? Be careful. Could be uh, poisonous. Yeah, yeah I kind of want to cut it up. Maybe it's got juice in it. Is it, do they seem to be suffocating? Yeah, they seem to be suffocating pretty yeah. severely. Um, yeah. and then uh, Skipper. Everybody feels a massive kind of hold on to your forward. Hold on to your hats, um, boys. You, Skipper, see what causes it. You see one of these things, except instead of thinking about a foot long, it's about the size of a small car falls from the sky, hits the front of the ship, tipping it way forward before it slips off into the water. Holy crap. We got things falling out of the sky. I just saw a real big one. Uh, Cap, Skipper, what's it look like when you look up? Well, I can't really see up. I'll I'll leave the wheelhouse, go to the side and, and take a look. Yeah, up. You, you look up and above you it's kind of surreal. There's all this spray from these breaking swells up in the air. And it's kind of capturing this long, unbroken, like, moonbeam. Almost like light coming through the blinds in a very dusty room. Like curtains. And swimming up in the air in this light, you see these squid things. Some of them are tiny, maybe like guppy size. Some of them are bigger than your boat. Hold on, boys. And I'm, I'm all... turning, the, turning the boat around. And the swells increase pull in the net we need you to pull in the net i i cap i'm off to the machines yeah. okay I, i'm yeah. gonna set this bucket in a corner where maybe it won't tip over in a sink yeah i'll throw it in the sink and yeah go get those yeah, nets. You put... i'm trying to get out from under it and i'm making my way to the poop you know, handhold by handhold, because that obviously I could get tossed on my ass any time. All right, so Vince is going for the net. Uh, Skipper, assist. if you want to roll pilot boat, Ish is also going for the net. Jim and Robbie, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna help out any way I can. Help out. Yeah, I'm just trailing regular along pass. To, yeah, trying to figure out how to help. Regular pass. All right. Yeah, regular pass. Yeah. So you you are keeping the boat from capsizing. These swells are getting absurd. Uh, you look at your wind gate, like, and your equipment's not registering any wind, but the swells are just increasing and increasing. And you swear you can see off in the darkness some of these swells. They seem to go up. And they don't stop. They just keep going and going and going. So I'm trying to get away from that. But uh, I'm also turning into the waves. That are going up mm -hmm. and over. I assume I can see some of this action from the poop deck. Yeah, once you, once you get on the, on the poop deck, yeah, you see these. Well, I'm going to roll. Titan swells. You see this. You see these. And there's not just one sheet of this moon beam there's now several of them and they all have these things swimming in the light 
And they're going up mostly, but some are falling. They're going out, up. Guess, and, and, so, and some of them, as you see, some of them swim down or they swim off to the side. And as soon as they leave that light, they start to suffocate and they just drop. Yeah. I just failed a sand roll. That's 75. All right. That's 1d6. That's pretty reasonable. Batten down the hatches, boys. It's a success on that sanity check. As we're kind yeah, of anybody who's out, anybody who's stuff. outside looking up at this, make a sand roll. Just the one. That's going to be an int roll from you, Vince. Right. Uh, luckily, I didn't do a lot of schooling or thinking. Oh no, nope, twenty three is a hard in success. All right. Tom, do you have the bout of madness table? I don't have it handy. Tom does. Skipper does. Yeah. Everybody else lose under five. One. It's a one d eight. Six. One d six, right? No. One Tom D8 has a special. Has a oh, custom oh, oh, one. The, the, it's one d eight and a one d four. Yeah. Yeah, I thought okay. it's one d six for the sand loss. If you failed, if you pass, it's just one. And my six gets me a six on the uh, chart. Uh, six is paranoia for 1d10 rounds. Uh, and it just says trust no one. All right. I'm going to focus on getting the nuts up because with the nuts down, it's hard to move quickly. Yeah. If anybody comes near me, like that asshole Ishmael, you know. Well, I've given the baton down the hatches, so. Vince, you look frantic. Let me help you out. Fuck the fuck off, man! Jeez. Okay. Can you, okay. Can did I see this shit? I am. It, it, get the nets in so we can get as many of these as we can. I'm getting the fucking nets in. What are you doing, you son of a bitch? Okay, I'm trying to help. Robbie, uh, uh, Get either get the nets in or get some of these fish. Keep collecting them. I've never seen this okay. in my life. You want to keep these things, you fucking maniac? Uh, it's a rare fish, I assume. I've it's never seen this. I don't want to touch those things, Ish. Well, use gloves. All right, well, if that's what you're telling me to do, I'm collecting all of these. <laughs> so, so Robbie is on has buckets and is scooping up as many of these as you can. Um, you, you find that sometimes it takes a lot of them to fill a bucket. Sometimes it just takes one to fill a bucket. Um, Vince, you can roll operate heavy machinery. My capacities are undiminished in that regard. That's a hard success. Yep. So you start bringing, bringing the net in, uh, Ish and Jim, if you want to roll dex rolls to secure the net as it comes up. Are there more of these things in the nets, or is it or is it cod? There's some cod in the nets. Um, there's a couple of these things in the net. Uh, I slipped. Yeah, same. So both Ish and Jim fail. So. Vince, you're hauling in the net. You see the net doors come up, and you see Ish and Jim kind of floundering around. They're not getting them secured. Oh, and that's... Uh, Skipper, you're steering this as best as you can, but between the regular success and the the current failure to get the nets and things secured, your, your drag, you don't seem to be able to clear this, and you feel yourself going up and up and up as you guys feel yourself start going sideways as you're kind of taken up on this massive swell. Scuttle the fucking net. Get inside. Batten down the hatches. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna go to try to secure the net, and if these idiots get in my way, I'm gonna push him. Vince, All right, roll next for me, Vince. Cause. Dex is pretty good. Oh, no dex. Just a all right. So, so you, I mean, yeah, you, you're going to, you know, yeah, you know, these morons can't seem to do it. But yeah. then you find yourself stepping on one of these things. They're almost invisible. You find, and you just start gliding. So, is there like a and release so, for the net that we can hit? Because the captain, yeah, said just, just like cut get it, rid of it. it away. Yeah, yep. just, mm -hmm. he's just gonna yep. get yep. the so knife you, and cut it. You cut the net free. The, those cod go back in the water. Some of those things that were in the net, that all just slides back into the depths. 
damn it. And I'm probably cussing and blue the, streak. <laughs> yes, you every every inappropriate word you can think of in an unending torrent coming over the radio. As the four of you are as yeah, skippers in the wheelhouse, the four of you are on the poop deck scrambling around. Robbie, you you have these buckets, but they're starting to as the ship's starting to tip sideways, your buckets are kind of sliding off into the off into the ocean. I see that a mayday. Happy, the you, buckets. Yeah, you're screaming over the radio. Mayday, mayday. And you all just get this blinding white light as you're kind of brought up into one of these beams. And it lasts for a, a bit. You shield yourself. And as your eyes readjust, you're on this flat perfectly calm sea but it's not the dark blue you would expect it's more like a pastel oil painting there are purples and greens these deep like violets blues. with the blues and everything is just perfectly calm and flat in front of you way off in the distance you see the full moon kind of on the horizon hovering there right and you look up the sky above you is nebula and stars and galaxy arms we're dead and everything is just flat still but we're still on our boat right you're on you're on you're on the osprey and we're heading towards the moon that's where you're pointed uh, ish, ish, are you okay? Uh, yeah, okay? I think. <laughs> How many of those buckets did you manage to get? Uh, two of them. I think a bunch of them went overboard. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. It kind of... It's fine. Obviously, we touched those things that got some sort of toad venom on them or something, and they're fucking with our heads. You like Maybe... that? Is that what you like? Is, that, is this what you, am I discovering, Ishmael, what you're into? And that's why it's you a want matter buckets of, and buckets of this? It's money in the bank. People will pay for that. It's like that one venom fish. Do you but see the, any people on the purple ocean? Oh, shit. Where's the Hemingway? Skippy, you got anybody on radio? Nobody. Nothing. I come out of the wheelhouse. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And you step out of the wheelhouse and you kind of like kick one of these fish things and it kind of goes overboard. Um, and you see like it, the second it touches that water, it starts swimming just fine. And just. Aside from the moon and the purple water, the oil slick that we're on. What what else do we see? Just nothing in any roll, direction. Roll spot hidden. As and is it daytime or nighttime? It's all you see, it's it's very bright. Um, but there's no sun. It's just it's that it's that full moon, it's the stars overhead in the cloud. Yeah, so you if, know how to navigate with the stars. Look for any stars you know. Do I you see, see the Orion here? Do you see Cassiopeia? Roll navigation. Uh, 23 out of 62. So that's uh, hard. So you look up at the stars and you can confidently say you don't know what the fuck any of them are. I don't know what the fuck any of them are. Are we dead? Maybe it's the new kid. Never what happened before. Maybe about? it's the new kid. What's with all these buckets of weird fish? Well, they belong in the purple water. Let's throw them overboard. Maybe if we throw junior scientist Altman overboard too. He can uh, make his discovery. Nobody's going in the overboard. Water. Yeah. Well, uh, let's. Yeah, let's hold on to the fish. Uh, what are these, Captain? What What are these, Altman? We aren't here to collect specimens for scientific study. We're here to catch cod and make lots and lots of money 
if you catch a fish that no one's ever heard of, that's a lot, a lot of money too. Not and our they're job. falling out of the sky. I mean, we can sell fish, right? It's not our I job. I don't think that uh, McDonald's is going to make any fillets of fish out of your little worm squid monster friends. It, Captain, a, it could be a luxury. I don't know. I don't, Jim, you, you know, fish, right? Back me up here, right? We could sell fish. <laughs> Doesn't look like anything we can eat. I don't think so. I mean, there's a whole gross factor to these things. You know, there's like weird and then there's too weird. And and I, I don't think that there's a market for these kinds of things. They're just too ugly. They're really too ugly. I mean, can you imagine that on a plate? Like, nobody's going to buy that. Look, you're just going to... Okay, you can laugh at me, but when your uncle makes a fortune off of his weird catch... Why just, are you worried about how you can sell these things when we sailed up a fucking moonbeam into the sky? I'm going to look over the boat, over over the edge, and look down at the ocean and see what it looks like. Do I'm I see go, these things in it? Yeah, you, you look down and you do you see them like swimming in there, like this. For being so like technicolored, this water or whatever it is is clear it's very clear and now you should see just an endless amount of them all kind of swimming all towards the moon and the moon looks bigger than it normally should the moon looks huge like it it's almost reminiscent of photos you saw in like elementary yeah. school where they had people astronauts taking photos of earth from the moon but whereas the moon is the earth, it's just covers the whole horizon line. That's a that's a question I have. Is it the moon or is it another moon? Because, you know, we only ever see one side of the moon. Right. So we'd know what it will look like. See, that's that's easy enough to tell. That is the moon. It's huge, but it's the moon. Those stars are and unknown to you it's full it's a full moon it's a full moon jesus boys i don't know what the fuck's and, going on and jim as you're staring like okay i recognize those craters um you think you see something silhouetted it's very distant but it's getting closer and it's, it seems to be on the on the surface it's coming towards you okay um can I run up to the wheelhouse? There should be a pair of binoculars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, go, you go into the wheelhouse, use the binoculars, and it's a trawler. Another... Coming the other direction. Coming towards you. Okay. Am I able to see any flags on this trawler? Uh, you look for flags, you don't see any. Okay. Which is strange. I'll go out of the wheelhouse and I'll holler down to everybody. And this is there's a trawler heading our direction. I can't make out trawler. Is yeah. it the Hemingway? I can't tell. There's no flags. Well, maybe they lost them in the storm. Maybe yeah. we'll get out of here. This is just a freak weather thing. Clearly. Uh, I'll I'll take the binoculars and take a look. Uh trying to see if it matches the size and shape. If size it's, it's it's smaller than the Hemingway. It's smaller than the Osprey. It, it's 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 older. It's an it's almost ship. it's almost like reminiscent of like the one you sailed on with your dad as a kid. Yeah, this looks like an older ship. Uh, can't really see the details because the moon behind it's really bright. I'm going also to the wheelhouse. I want to spin through. The radio, the short wave. I'm just looking for any intelligible yeah, you're, signal. You're looking the radio. You say it's not picking anything up. Nobody responds. You look at the weather. The weather thing is doing what it was when this all happened. It's it's okay. detecting all these things from all these different directions. It's just has no idea what's going on. You look at the sonar for locating schools of fish, and it's not 
locating anything. It doesn't register anything below you. Like it, there's just a bottomless emptiness below you. Are it's we, not picking up those fish. It's not picking up an ocean floor. Are we, however, moving through the water? Can we feel the ship? Yeah, you you hear, you listen, the engine's going. And if you look behind you, yeah, you're making like these We're little... We're making a wake. Yeah, this the wake. But again, like the wake itself, it's is strange. Like you feel like it should be, I don't know, bigger than it is, but it's just these little... Well, if we're moving and the engine's running, then we can turn around. So we're going to turn around, right? We're going to turn around and go right back down the moonbeam and not any closer to whatever the fuck is in front of us. We're going to go back down, catch some cod. Maybe this drug will wear off. I think it's fucking Altman that drugged us. I didn't could touch have, the could creatures. Have been a kid. I didn't touch any of the creatures. You didn't touch well, the I think Vince that... is right. I think we should try to just go back where we came from. The new we kid to... makes sense. We have to go back where we came from. I want to sleep in a bed tonight. I want to wash the cod off me and whatever the fuck this shit is. What does the compass say, Captain? Captain says we're heading towards Neverland. Yeah, you look uh... at the compass and the needle's just spinning. Spinning one way, then it starts spinning the other way, then it starts spinning the back, and then it that's stops, what I'm... and then it moves. Right. And... How do we know away from the moon is back home? You say we went on a movie. That's ridiculous. Where were you looking? I guess you fell out. There was a, a bright kettle. flash of light. It could have been a strobe light. The Hemingway's gone. Who knows where Like they passed us? I, I don't know. This seems weird. Yes, but. I nominate we talk we let's get to the other trawler. Let's see what they have to say. You said it's an old trawler. They've been doing this forever. They've probably seen this before. Why don't we turn the ship around and let the trawler catch up to us? Maybe they're looking for somebody who advises them how to get away from the over big moon and back down to a sea that's made out of salt water instead of whatever that is where these things live. Right. Right now they can't see. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to turn the ship around, but I'm going to hey, slow you, it down. Yeah, you lower. Yeah, you turn the ship, lower the engine, the throttle, <clears throat> and you feel like you're gliding. In a way, you're you're used to resistance. You're used to feeling the ocean um, kind of push back against you. But this is just you turn the wheel, and your ship just hmm. only goes. It's damn strange, okay. boys. You're gonna have something to tell your aunt, your your kids. Sounds and like so. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, sounds like some sort of fairy tale. Sail on moonbeam. There are more things in heaven and earth than are than are whatever. <laughs> Dreamt oh. of in your philosophy or, or something. Who knows? And so you, a, you've uh, slowed the ship down. What is everybody else doing as, as skippers? Ring the bell Bearing three up. times. I think I'm trying to get all the gather up all these creatures and toss them into the ocean if we haven't already been thinking that. that. Yeah. They seem really appreciative, Robbie. Like they, as soon as they touch the water, they perk right up and they swim down and they get in line and they start swimming towards the moon with the rest. And they're swimming towards the moon. Yeah, all of them. They're like moon trouts. I don't know what the hell. Uh, I'm going to like pull out the like multifold waterproof thing that I keep my phone in and see if I can text planet fucking Earth. Yeah, you, you get that out of service um Yes. exclamation mark thing yeah have you come We're out of your not... paranoia what are you talking about skip what the fuck is that I'm not actually asking you i'm just asking <laughs> I, I would also outside i think it's been at least 10 rounds i don't think i'd like anybody or trust anybody but i don't think i'm actually in a in a condition is that correct keeper 
You definitely agitated. Um, this is this is very weird. So while you're not necessarily immediately hostile to everybody around you, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, Nobody likes doing things that uh, they've never done before. Ish. Yeah. I as think, you've as yeah. you've um make a sanity roll as you toss that uh, cod over the side. Wonderful. Uh success. Yeah, you you toss over the cod and it plummets. It just Huh. Um, folks, get, do you see this cut? Just a second. Just a second. I'm going to go back. He's going to take the bucket and get a couple more cuts. Guys, guys, look, look at this. He's just going to start chucking cods off the side. And the cod goes over and then down and down and down. Is this, is this like a down. still water thing? I've never seen them just. It's like there's nothing there. It's like there's no water. How is our is ship there water? Afloat? I'm not jumping down there. I don't so think you're pretty big to save like, you from kinda, that. Like a pole and like stick it down. Yeah. And if it comes back, does it come back wet? Yeah, you you take the pole, you stick it in, you swirl it around, but again, you don't feel any resistance. You pull it up, it doesn't feel wet. I'll I'll put a bucket make on a rope and throw a bucket over the side. See if I can get a bucket of water. All right. So you, so Jim, you throw the bucket over the side and you start hauling and it's heavy. I'm like pulling. I'm like, come on, guys, help help me pull this thing up. Okay. I got you, Jim. I got you. Yep. I'll help out. I'm telling it's, you, when I was stirring around, there was like nothing there. I don't know what this is. It's heavy, it's heavy, and the second you break that water line, it just pulls right up and it's empty. Jeez, this is weird. It's wild. How did that Santa do roll go for you, Ish? Uh, good. Yeah. All right, just one point. Great. Yeah, this is fascinating. I, what makes the creatures different are there any still on deck make a luck roll no <laughs> no they've all Drat. they've all flopped their way to safety I wonder if there's any still in the hold I wonder we didn't put any in the hold though they were all in the processing area well, Robbie brought I, yeah. one in. Yeah, the one I got in the bucket. I don't know if it's still down there. You threw it in the sink, didn't you, Ish? Yeah. Yeah. All right, in the process. And now I'm afraid, what if there aren't any of them on the ship? We go the same way the cod goes. Although, honestly, I'd rather fall into the ocean from up here than land on the moon and freeze or suffocate or whatever the hell happens there. So you go you go a, into the hold, Robbie, looking for that fish, and it's gone. It's no longer in the sink. Say your prayers, yeah, I boys. If, I, I don't know, Ish. I think we must have... Maybe it fell over fell or something. Yeah. Uh, uh, didn't Wasn't Vince saying something about a moonbeam? Maybe he's right, but wouldn't we need... Like, we'd see a moonbeam if we were getting out of here. Like... Wouldn't we it see a thing? doesn't make any sense to me either way. I don't know. I don't know. I think I, we got to talk to this trawler, right? It's I'm catching up to us. I'm hoping they might have answers. It's catching up. Yeah, you <laughs> see the trawler? It's, it's coming. Does it's this thing have, have lights on it? Uh, no, sure. it doesn't have any lights lit on it. No flags, that's, no lights. That's the dangerous. Goddamn ghost ship. Well, it could have a white light on top of it that we just can't see because of the moonlight. It would be brighter. Well, our our, our tail lights are—I don't know what they're actually called—tail lights. 
There's a red one and a green one on the mm -hmm. back of our ship. Yep. Corresponding with yeah, port and port uh, starboard. starboard. And yeah, this other trawler is overtaking you. Are they heading straight towards us, or are they? No, they seem they're, they're kind of off starboard. Okay. It's like they're going to come up next to you. Okay. As soon as they're within shouting distance, out. Well, we probably have a bullhorn. Mm -hmm. um, so, ahoy! Yeah, you 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 call over to the other trawler. You don't get a response, and as it pulls up next to you, um, you see a figure at the wheel. Is he's dressed in as you've been like, like kind of like a cable knit sweater, um, like pants, overalls. Um, there's a a knit cap, but there's no head. So it's like he's invisible. and you see the sleeves. Yeah, yeah, it's like he's invisible. Like the sleeves go up to the wheel, and it is like it's moving a little bit, but you don't see like fingers, like hands gripping the wheel. Is there a name on the side of the trawler as it's coming side to us? There might be. Like it looked like there might have been, but the paint is like so rusted and gone that. It's been eaten away. And as it pulls up more alongside you, you see in the back, there are a lot of these figures working. Um, and like you did with the cod, they seem to be pulling up a net full of these weird fish. Mm. But like looking at them, there's some of them in like your kind of more modern fishing, full wetsuits. Um you have people older, like you saw your dad. Um, you see people dressed as if they were in like the early 20th century. You see what you might like somebody but we don't out, see like a 19th people. century just novel. You, you just see clothes. But you see all sorts of different time periods um, and this crew. See what happens ish when you eat this, those things? You turn into a clear... Can't hear you. Yeah, I feel like you guys are making a lot of assumptions about. How... Wow. I just want to get us back safely. And the this this other ship, this rusted ship and its crew, they kind of pull up us beside you, mm -hmm. and they you see the the throttle on the other ship move down to like match your speed. Ahoy, ahoy, in the answers. You you wave and the figure in the wheelhouse turns and seems to wave back to, at you. This is where sailors' clothes go to die. <laughs> How do I you just talk about another sanity roll? <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Oh, 11. I did good. Failed that. Told you there are strange things. All right, if you if you pass, it's one. If you fail, one d four plus one. Ooh. four or five. Eight. One of us. Make an int roll. Oh no, I passed that. Yeah, yeah. This is wrong. This is this is very very wrong. One D eight. Seven. Uh do a one D four then. Four. Gonna have to get rid of that. Oh, uh, you start having hallucinations of monsters. Bits. For one for one D ten rounds. Yeah, so so Jim, you're looking at this spectral crew staring back at you and then all around you in, in the water you you swear you see these giant tendrils rising up from the ocean coming down from the sky coming up from below you swear you see these little translucent fish tendrils coming up and out of the clothes you feel them crawling like in your boots Uh, and I just start backing away 
from the the rail. Reeves, pull yourself together. Uh, there's like. Do you not see? Do you not see the the, the things over there? Dancer, what's he talking about? I mean, there's like tentacles and and other things. Jim, no, there aren't Jim. Yes, Jim, yes, sir. You're... Yes, sir. Yes, 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 there are. Yes, there are. Did, there, there, did, there. <laughs> did you lick one of the fish or something? No, I didn't lick one of the fish. Just get monsters. Where, Jim? Where do you see the monsters? Where are they? Well, they're they're over on the ship. Over on the sh- the other ship, you can see them. They're they're coming out of their clothes. Yeah, and you you turn to tell out to Robbie, and yeah, you see one coming up. Robbie's back um, to his shoulder. <laughs> I I hit it. Ah, <laughs> Jim, why? Pull pull yourselves together, Ben. Just, I just I. I'm just, I'm going to go to the mess. I'm going to go to the mess. I can't deal with this. I'm going to go to the mess and get a coffee. Just, you can't yeah, deal so with you, it. So, so, so you go, it takes you a while to find a mug that doesn't have one of these little squid things living in it, but you do eventually. Get yourself some nice <sighs> coffee. That, that will really help cut that anxiety down. I am going to... Um, uh, this probably also has a name. I'm going to pull the the uh, flashlight. It's not a flashlight. It's a big a signal light, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Um, see if I can communicate with them that way. Um, if maybe they know that code, uh, they could signal us back, even though they don't have arms or legs. Or I'll say. So you, uh, what are you flickering over in the light? I'll say this is the uh, Osprey. Um, uh, we are we don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Can you give us some info? You know some kind and of. You, you see this? Co- That's your, what was your question? Yeah, some kind of ghost code. You know some kind of ghost code. Well, now? if they're sailors, they should all know. Uh, Sailors have fucking code. bodies. You you look over, Skipper, at this other boat, and you see a light code flicker back to you, but it does so in an odd manner. You see a very modern light at the front start flickering uh-huh. Morse code. Then you see like an oil hurricane lantern start lighting up and yeah. going out. Close. Yeah, as, as it's going. Um, so yeah, you get this. It's a little hard to read the message because it's coming from all these different lights from these different eras. Um, and the message back simply reads, um, you're in the ocean. Um, what's your cargo? The fish below you. See. Look. And then you actually see one, some of these figures kind of like lift a really big one up kind of above their heads and they lower it. What's your heading, I'll say? Upstream. Better catch that way. They swim into the nets. I'm just going to say... Uh... I don't know what. I think I'm just going to, you know, fuck this, boys, and I'm going to start the ship up and go full full throttle ahead towards, in the same direction they are towards the ocean. Our so you 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 go full throttle. Yeah. And what you might expect happens. This trawler seems to lurch and just keep pace with you. That's fine. So we're going the right and direction. Slowly, as, there's, as they're working these nets, um, yeah, just more and more of them seem to be like stopping and just like watching you. Oh, we can't. We gotta. Can you? Maybe you should ram them. Maybe if you ram them, 
No, I don't want to be on the ghost ship. ship. I don't want to be on the ghost ship, Captain. Well, I don't want to be on the ghost ship. We we don't need to ram them. That would damage our own ship. We're just going to get the fuck out of here. Let's turn oh. around and go home. We should just turn around and go home. No, we are going home. How are we going to get home? This isn't the... Pull yourself together, man. I'll yell at him. I can use my intimidate roll. <laughs> You can roll it if you'd like. Yeah, I got 18 out of 40. So maybe the sound of my authoritative voice snaps them all back to attention. So you got, uh, you have some orders, Captain. They're going to help us get back to port. Yeah, make sure everything's battened down. Make sure our, our, uh, our catch is secure. And then uh, get get to your stations. We're going to full speed ahead as so fast as we can. We should go down and keep processing no. the cards that don't have legs? No, we can do that later. Is that what you suggest? Yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, ignore the captain and, uh, you know, I'll walk away so he doesn't, it, I'm not d- indicating immediate insubordination. I want to start feeding a line into the sea to see how far I can see it. Put a, I don't know, whatever, I, something to weigh it down. I want to see so if I you, can climb off of this doomed vessel. You make a sounding line, and you start reeling it out. 10 meters, 50 meters, 100 meters, 500 meters, 1,000 meters, 2,000 meters, 3,000 meters, 4,000 meters, 5,000 meters, yeah. 6,000, 10,000, 20,000. Not sure that he'd ever rope that long. <laughs> well, it just keeps it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and going. It doesn't stop, but as long as you go, you keep. I mean, as as Skipper said, there is not this much rope on the ship, but apparently there is. It just keeps going and going and going and going. Yeah. Down. down. Yeah. All right. It's uh, it's probably the new kid. Maybe it's Ish though. Somebody's fucking. I don't know. Mushrooms in our beef. Mushrooms in the coffee? It's not. This doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, so, uh, yeah, next plan is to look for a place where I can lock myself into a small safe place. With well, the mess. Good, yeah, with a, you know, a nice gutting knife from the processing room. Because I don't need to see any more of this bullshit. Those aren't real stars. Reeves, you stay so here with me. Okay, I'll I'll do that. And Jim, as you're as Skipper is going, you see that the, the ship next to you is signaling you again. What do they say? Not fishing today? Question. I'll um. Your net. I'll just respond. No. There's pause. And now, at this point, this ghost crew is really interested in you now. There seems to be less and less of them working, and there's more of them just lining up at could, the uh, side. Could Ish Ask find, like, a... Home. Yeah, uh, he'll Ask go and find a home. dry erase board. Yeah, that's a, that's uh-huh. a good idea. Like a, like one from the mess hall that we use for menus. Mm-hmm. He'll, Pull it down and like so. So, so, it. Ish, you, you, you go in there, you see Vince curled up in one of the seats with the gutting knife. Okay. Um, yeah. You, you go take a wide walk around, take pull, the, the a thing. Vince, just so you know, if they take off their clothes, you'll never see them coming. And then he walks out with the dry erase word. And he's he's gonna take write on their it. clothes off. <laughs> they can't take their clothes off. That's all they are. <laughs> Beginning to think so. So you had your you had your overrated. you had your whiteboard. Yeah. Uh, and he's gonna try and like flag down some of the people just walking on the on the deck and be like writing, "Where are you from?" 
where are you headed? So you ask them where they are from. They point to the aft of the ship towards the moon. You ask where they are going. Okay, moon people. And they point dead ahead where you are all going. Earth? I don't like that they're going yeah. where they're going. Ish. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like don't don't worry. He'll just write Earth question mark and point it at them and see what they do. You you write Earth, you point at them, and they just they don't they don't respond. Oh my god. I can't say which turn is Earth. I don't think just heading away from the moon. It, it, Robbie, I I don't think the captain knows where he's going because there is nowhere to go. I think the captain's wrong. I think he's he doesn't know what he's doing. Vince is ho- holed up in the mess hall with a knife, and Jim is imagining monsters. I think things are, are not going Ish, great. Are we all going crazy? I'm not going crazy. Strangely, I feel fine considering you just have to be in problem solving mode and problem solving says we need to ask someone that knows about gestures broadly around we have to they have to know a way back to earth they they i mean moon people didn't just come up with a ship right well they said we're what did they say we're in the ocean ask them how to get to land oh yeah 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 Oh, right on that. Yeah, which way to land? Great idea. And they all point back towards the moon. Captain, I think we need to go to the moon. Wait. He writes and, like, puts a little carrot, Earth land, puts Earth in there and points it back at them. They don't change. They keep pointing back towards the moon. Captain, the invisible people are saying to go back to the moon. Yeah, we're not going to the moon. We're going back to Earth, where we came from. They say that is Earth land. I don't think we're heading towards Earth. We're going in this direction. Vince is right that there was something on those squid things that we touched. Maybe this is all a hallucination. I mean, maybe. I, I, I don't know about this strategy of just going in a direction, though, and they seem to be looking at us. I don't like that they're following us. I don't want to go in the same direction they're going. That doesn't feel right. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we just go with the flow. These are experienced individuals. But be prepared to make an executive decision. It's not mutiny if two of us are doing it. I don't think that's how that works, Ish. That sounds like mutiny to me. Well, hmm. Yeah, I got nothing. Just make sure you keep something heavy on you in case Vince starts trying to stab you. Okay. I feel like you and I, we're the only ones that, that have any sense. I'm going to stick with you. Yeah. All right. You can take the water wings off, by the way. Jim was pranking you. Oh. Well, what if I fall overboard? Actually, that's a good point. You might want to keep them on. Okay. So I'm talking to Jim while well, all that is going on, on, on down there. And I said, look, we were we were efficient in our efficient spot. We've been there a million times in that area, trawling for cod. We caught cod. And then we started to see these things. And somehow we got caught up in them. They were like salmon, space salmon. Mm-hmm. And they were heading towards the moon. And we got carried along with them. Now we've got a a trawler coming from the moon that's catching those things. And they're actually heading towards Earth Ocean, where maybe they get a whole bunch of them and then they go back to the moon. But if we go in this direction, we should be going back to Earth Ocean because all of the little creatures are swimming that way. And they were coming from our ocean and going that way towards the moon. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to suddenly fall out of the sky like they did. I don't know either. Um, 
I don't know either. This they obviously are, like you said, following some kind of strange migration pattern, kind of like moths do, maybe, or salmon, like you said. Yeah, maybe it's um, just something we've never seen before because it's rare, but it does happen. I know those invisible people. It's just weird that they look like they're wearing our clothes and they've got some of our instrumentation and some very old, like, you know, black lanterns and things like that yeah. they're using. Um, I'm going to keep on this heading. Go check on Vince. He seems to have been kind of mentally shattered by this experience. Tell him everything's going to yeah. be okay. Yeah, get I'll, back I'll, home. I'll talk to him and see what I can do. Um, I do got a concern. What's the plan if these guys tried to board our ship? I don't know. I don't think they're going to. I think they've got their own job to do. Yeah. Although they are kind of lining up and watching what we're doing. Yeah. It, it seems really, I guess they're, they think it's really odd maybe that we're not fishing like they are. No, I told my net broke. I don't know. Don't let's just break off communication with them. I'm going to try. If we're like this, I'm going to try to slowly pull farther away from their boat. Not not go completely away, but right. So you 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 increase the distance, and they don't seem to react. And then you increase it a little more; they don't seem to react. But then you go a little bit more, and then they kind of move over. So they're sticking close, but they're not, like, hugging you. They let you get a little more distance. Sure. I'm also trying to calculate how long have we been here and how long until that much more time has passed again so that maybe we'll be back. You know, if we were out for an hour and now we're coming back, expect an hour. So you go, you look at your watch, and it has stopped. Watch. Stopped around 2.37 a.m. 2.37 a.m. And the moon is still in exactly the same spot? You look, you look at you look back at it. And it's hard to tell. Maybe it's going down. Okay. Are we... Does it feel like the same amount of time? Like, if this has been going on for an hour, does it feel like we're getting close to another hour? You you sit there and you start to think about that. And how long have you been here? Days? Hmm. Well, we probably have a spare net. I don't know if there is such a thing, but yeah, no, you have you have two nets. Uh, I'm just going to keep full speed ahead. If you keep full full speed ahead, Jim, you go down to the mess. Yeah, I'm going to go down and check on Vince. Uh, Vince, Vince, how are you? <laughs> well, you know, I don't, uh, I don't want to fall out of the sky. I don't want to fish that boat forever. I hate fishing. My family used to do stuff that mattered. We used to be based in the lands. I hate the fucking smell of fish. I watch the fish guts off me. I don't want to be hauling up those fish to the moon forever like those guys are. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we should go over, Jim. What do you think? You saw what uh, Ish did with the cards. They just fell. You know, they say when you fall from a great height, you pass out before anything happens. You know? That doesn't I, I, sound so bad. Yeah, I've seen those videos of the uh, skydivers. Or, yeah, they hit the water. They bounce. I mean. Yeah, it's like rock. You're going 100 miles, 100, you know, hundreds of miles an hour. 
Yeah, but how how far down do you think it is to the ocean? Well, the ropes have gotten uh, stretchy. I I tried to sound the bottom, and there was no bottom. Ah, you know, I mean, look how big the moon is. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't I know t- what we're breathing. I don't know where we are. I don't know what that is that isn't water. I saw you with the bucket. I don't. We'll yeah. fall through it. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what to do other than it, maybe we can catch a ride on one of the big ones as it come along. We could jump off and catch it, ride its back, ride it over to the moon. To the moon? Yeah, through the moon. Why do you want to go to the moon? There's nothing on the moon. Well, we we came up on a moonbeam. So if we came up on the moonbeam, we were probably at the farthest end of the moonbeam. Are you going now crazy, we're... Jim? I have seen some shit. I've seen some heavy shit. There's really strange stuff on that other trawler. I don't want to get on that other trawler. I don't want those no. other people or whatever that is on this trawler. I can't see their faces, but I don't know like the way they looked at us. No. Right? There's creepy crawly things coming out. Uh, and they, why do they, who do they take those things to on the moon? Who wants those things? It's I don't not, know. It's not, it's not, it's not right. I don't want any part of it. I just want to, just want to wake up sweaty in my bed. Uh, maybe it's a dream. You think it's a dream, Jim? I hope so. But if it is, it's a damnedest dream I ever had. Yeah, it's a damn dream. All right. I'm going to go get hypnotism and have him wash it out of my mind. <laughs> you think they got moon hypnotist? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> they got if they, else. if if the uh, if the haunted sweaters on the other boat come across to the osprey, I'm going over the edge. I don't mind falling. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be my my breaking point too, because I don't want to. I don't want to deal with those things. Uh, no. I I just I didn't sign on for this, Jim. I didn't either. I thought this was going to be cod, just fishing cod. Cod's cod's good fishing. You know, if we do get back to New Bedford, I'm never going to bitch about cod again. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Better <laughs> cod than things with too many eyes. I think I'm going to stop eating seafood altogether. Honestly, I don't oh, think I'm going to have. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe I'll go up, uh, maybe I'll go up on deck and, uh, see if I can map these stars. All right. Maybe figure out where we are, really. Yeah, I've got, I've got a notebook. Now put my knife down, and I'm going over if one of those sons of bitches gets on this boat. Mark my words. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I think it's a new kid? Do you think he fucking brought some dope on board? I, d- I don't know. I mean, like, I've I've taken drugs in the past, but this is just not like any experience that I've ever had. Yeah, no, like, no, I guess no. it's just not like I don't feel different in that kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. No, I. you're right, Jim. You're right. Yeah, I'm gonna, know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna draw these new stars. Uh, you know, maybe uh, that son of a bitch Ish is right, and uh, we can learn something and become rich and famous if we don't, uh, we don't die first. Yeah, maybe we get rich and famous and move ourselves to somewhere very far away from water. I think maybe yeah, there's a sand dunes by the Rocky Mountains. That sounds pretty good. Mm. Although I don't, I bet the moon's real bright there too. Maybe some place yeah. with heavy forest. Get a bunker in the desert. I wouldn't mind being underground. Is there any liquor down here? Um, no, there's no, stash. there's no liquor on fishing voyages. I'm afraid. 
Sometimes, though, I feel like a Captain toward the end when we're on our way, he seems to get a little loose. I wonder if he maybe had a bottle behind a flower bin or something. Just my luck. I wouldn't be opposed to having a six pack on board of beer for when we're done. So there is a six pack of beer on board in the fridge. Oh, we're all in luck, Jimbo. Cheers. Yeah. Budweiser. Jesus Christ. Good God, no. Sam Adams. Sam Adams. There you go. Local shit. Right. Well, so, as you yeah. as you drink the local shit and then ponder the contextual nature of the word local. Um, <laughs> <laughs> local. So I'm just going like to barrel on forward. Yeah, yeah I'd like to check in with the good skipper and just kind of get the status of uh, what what are you thinking? Are we like are we actually going anywhere? Cuz I'll be honest, it he's looking back at the moon forward. That how do you even tell we're making progress, skipper? Well, I'm judging just by the feel of it, I'd say we're doing at least 12 knots. I don't know how many how much how much speed is. You're going as fast as as this engine can go. Right. Um, and I don't know if the water is flowing towards the moon. So are we are we making headway? All, all I can think is that we're going where the fish are coming from and not where they're going. And they yeah, came from our ocean. Getting anywhere. Yeah. It feels like Have we're you, going nowhere. Yeah, I noticed you guys stopped talking with the ship. I don't know the language necessarily but uh you don't know morse have, code old morse code i know i i'm i'm no i haven't bothered yet um Do you know semaphore oh yeah i love flags well go talk to them with semaphore what? they seem to know our our terminology and stuff right and they seem to know the fish and what we know is that the fish were in these beams right that vince saw they might know where the beams come from and go because that would be where the fish show up in theory. Well, we saw where the fish came from. They came from our ocean. Right, but they like traveled on this beam, but I don't see a they, beam. They, like, they fell from the sky. I'm telling you, Captain, they fell from the sky. Right, we're in like the beam. They jumped out of the water. I'm are, pretty sure we're in the beam. Are we maybe like on the other? Did you ever see those Thor movies? And they've got like the I rainbow, those movies. yeah, the rainbow yeah. thing, and they go zap, zap, the and then you're at this bridge. I sure, if you say so, but yeah, uh, right. But that's like the the fish stream, and now we're this, in this, Thorland. This ain't nothing like we've ever experienced before. I think we're caught in a stream of space fish, and we need to go in the opposite direction that they're going because they came from Earth. And they're heading to the moon. And I don't know whether we're making headway or not. Can we turn around? We're not be... getting anywhere though. Well, but can we ask them if we're at least, you know, when, when is the end? They seem like they know lands this way, not land that like. You, you can ask them, but uh, I, I don't care if you talk to them. It's just, I don't, I, I don't seem to recall how long we've been doing this. Check the, go down and check the engine. See how much, uh, sure. Which much Fuel? gas we? Uh, yeah, diesel we've got. That should give us I some indication how Ish, long. You want to talk to them? Uh, sure. I'll scrounge around and find some semaphore flags, and I really hope they have. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Ish, you you assemble your semaphore flags. Robbie, you go down to the engine, and it is perfectly quiet. Like not running. It's not running at all. But my instruments are showing that it is, right? Your instruments are powered. Your instruments showing full engine power. Yeah, I'm going to... You feel like you're being moved forward by the engine. But the engine is... Yeah, I'm going to go to... Uh, quiet in the engine room. Ish. That engine's not running. Captain thinks we're going somewhere. That engine's not going at all. Uh-oh. Um, I think he's lost it, Ish. I don't think this is on him. I'm captain. 
are you sure that you're like when you do the throttle if you ease off does the boat slow down well we we picked up ahead of the ship next to us um did we why we've got a wake behind us and the the, the engine's not running captain what do you mean it's not running it's quiet as a grave down there. It's not running. So I said what I said. Robbie, don't don't say grave. Come on, Robbie. I'll knock on the instrument panel. <laughs> you give the instrument panel a good thwack, and it just reads as a spin reading. Look, I think there's something causing illusions. I mean, I don't believe in magic, but maybe then again, we've never seen anything like this before. We're caught up in something. I think that we are moving forward. It feels like we're moving forward. There's wakes behind us in the ether. And that ship looks like it's moving forward, too. Okay, I'm going to go fix the engine and get it running. Because we can't operate on feels. This We have to have some power. What if... Maybe we'll actually get somewhere if we have the engine running now. Yeah. Well, go check on it, but be careful. Okay. Don't hurt yeah. yourself. I'll be fine. Yeah, it shall go down and start uh, trying to inspect the engine and then turn it back on. Roll mechanical repair. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on, dice. Do you want, do you want to report on what that roll was? Uh, at 92 I'm just doing some quick math I'm going to spend 22 luck to succeed because Ishmael wants off this moon beam ocean alright so you you desperately try everything to get it going and then you kind of sigh in despair and you accidentally lean against the lever (laughs) and then you hear it all fire up and roar into life Intercom. Captain, Captain the engine. I I expertly fixed the Do we feel any difference. And Skipper, you don't feel a difference. I don't feel any different. I don't either. Could have just lied, you hear from the intercom. Could have just lied. Damn it. But yeah, the engine's now loud as hell. Um I am going to, in desperation, turn the wheel to go completely this way, you know, for the other ship. So you're moving towards it? No, I'm moving up. I'm moving. Oh, you're moving away from it. Yeah. That that parallel angle. I mean, a, a perpendicular angle to it. You start doing that. And their lights start going nuts. Like, like warnings. Like, you would send this to another ship, like rocks. Like hazard. Like, and, and it's just, it's just going crazy. There's not really words. They're just like. Well, when that, when, when that happens. Maybe I'll then turn back into the direction that we were going. So we've kind of done this. <laughs> maybe maybe the moonbeam's only so wide and we don't want to fall off the edge. This is so nuts. I'm trying to keep everything together. So Vince, you've got a pretty good sketch of the of the stars. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot more colorful than I remember. Uh, things, you know, usually every star looks the same size. The planets look kind of the same size. This is uh, well, phantasmagorical. It's like a seventies uh, progressive rock album out here. I'm going to put out a call. All hands to the wheelhouse. All hands to the wheelhouse. 
Skipper is attempting to regain control of himself and his crew. Yeah. I've got, you know, I've got that nasty sharp knife and a, like a little sheath on my belt mm -hmm. at, at the ready, but I'm kind of anticipating that I'm going to dive out of the sky at a million miles an hour. So I'm feeling kind of relaxed. Just no, I'm not going to join that crew. That's all I'm concerned about at this point. Mostly. So is everybody? Right, everybody's, I believe everybody's gathered. Nobody has said otherwise. Where's Vince? Yeah, uh, uh, here accounted for, Captain Skipper. Look, this is uh, mighty strange. What's going on around us? I need your opinions. What do you want me to do? What? Uh, let's make this a collective, a democratic vote. How shall we proceed? I say we keep going in this direction. We'll eventually land in the ocean. I am hoping that's the case. Right back where we came from. Uh, Skipper, I assume that you haven't secretly been hoarding. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry. I took a couple of the Sam Adams from the fridge. Uh, you haven't been secretly uh, maintaining a small torpedo uh, collection down no, Hello. we don't have any Is weapons it? other than some knives and a flare gun. Yeah. If we could get rid of the spook ship, I would feel a lot more comfortable. You other know what? That, I just Did you feel me turn? I turned a few minutes ago uh, away from it, and they began signaling like crazy, like we were heading for danger. Well, and I like suddenly... We, yeah, it's like I, we saw from the surface, the, the monsters that were not in the stream of light or the one fell that out. fell. So I guess, but the thing is that this ghost ship, it can't be landing in the Atlantic, right? So wherever it's going, we're going the same place. And I don't think that's home. What well, if we they... leave the moonbeam? What if well, we leave the moonbeam? that's the way out, but I depends on if we leave the moonbeam 100 feet up or, or 10,000 feet up. If there was some way we could see orient ourselves to the ocean below. Could you make another depth gauge and see if we're getting closer? Uh, I, As far as I can tell, all instruments are being pretty screwy, but we can try it. Uh, I don't even know if this, uh, if the Osprey is going to make it from 100 feet above the ocean. I think no. we're going to smash into bits. So, Still, it might cushion us enough to where we survive. The other thing is that if we're going, if we actually, if this, if the Strout Dream of Magical Light, what the hell, is actually going to reach the surface, then maybe we'll get radio before we hit. So instead of trying to use gravity, we can, you know, we should be able to signal to the Hemingway before we get to the very end. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Keep the radio going and. If we do start to get a signal, then we know we're getting close to the water. I know none of this makes sense. Nobody's going to believe a word of what we're saying, but let's, <laughs> let's treat it as if it's all realistic. Let's use our fisherman skills to uh, do our best to navigate this moonbeam. God damn, that sounds crazy. <laughs> What, so, if, what if Robbie, we you didn't actually the, accidentally if, put anything in our food or anything? We don't have no. ergot, do we? I'm sorry, go ahead. No, Robbie. no, no, sir. I don't, I don't do anything like that. What if, what if we got, what if I went in the water? What if, like, if we put the anchor line down or the depth gauge and I could hold on to something and I could just get in and see what it's like? If it's just water, it's just water. If it's dangerous, I'll come back up again or you can pull me back up. But if it's not water, if it's something different, I could follow the line down. Why don't we? Well, we could use the kids. anchor. You could hold on to the anchor or sit on the anchor and we could lower it down. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it, Captain. I could do it. Give you a, a flashlight or something so you can flash back up at, at us if something's going wrong. 
if you are gets... able to stop the ship and right like we can make an attempt I mean, i'm not sure whether we're moving without or not. the engine that's so i'm not sure about that but you dropped caught in you dropped a rope in and it just went straight down despite the fact that it looks like we're moving well, i think we the, might want to tie attached. yeah attached. you can always pull me back up yeah we'll probably want to tie you to the anchor just in case but remember it's there is something there because of the bucket when we put the bucket out, it was really heavy. So, Robbie, don't go head first, I guess is what I'm saying. But right. I think, yeah. I think we got to send somebody down and at least try. Keel haul, keel haul. <laughs> if you feel anything, flash the flashlight up at us and we'll pull, back, pull you back up. Okay. If you grab a fish, maybe you can figure out how hard they're pulling. Maybe we just tie ourselves to fish and just swim against them that's something that would work right they're like fish parachutes okay my idea is ridiculous <laughs> well, so yeah, who so is all present for the Robbie lowering I think we're all going to be I have to okay, man the so boat all... but I so will skip... slow it down so yep, you you slow the boat and you seem to fall behind a little bit of the other trawler, but it you see a few of them like are looking back at you and they seem to slow too, so they don't get too far ahead. And Robbie, you start being lowered down off the side of the ship. Can you roll a pow for me? We should all see the Wellerman. What is my pal? I believe it's 55. All right, yeah. 15. 15. I can make it an extreme if it matters, but if not, it's a hard. It does okay, matter, kind of. Like, I will make yeah, it all right. So make it extreme. The moment you hit that where the waterline is, you feel like you're immersed. Okay. And water, like it's. In water, like the anchor keeps going down, but you start like your natural buoyancy floating. Yeah, yeah, yeah you start to float. And I'm sure everyone can see that as well. It's like water. Uh, is it cold? Is it hurt? Uh, do you need to come back? It's up? ice cold. Doesn't even begin to describe it. It is I'll like. Like outer it's space. Just, it's cold. it's it's outer space cold. Um, okay. You you like you get some in your mouth and it's not salty. It's just almost tastes like nothing. It doesn't really have a taste. Pull him up. Pull him up. We don't want him to freeze to death. Water. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm assuming I'm very cold though. Yeah. You're, He's chattering, yeah. frigid. Yeah. We probably got one of them uh, shiny blankets we can toss around you. Uh, hold some heat in. It's, uh, it's, I don't, it's like fresh water. I don't, we have I don't changes of clothing, I'm sure. sure. Yeah. We're going to be out for two weeks. The immediate wrap, though. Uh, so, skip. Right? The second you're out of the water, uh, you're no longer cold. It wasn't so bad. Like they wrap you up, but, but it, you feel fine. It, it's it's just like water, though. I didn't is she wet? Uh, is she no. physically wet? wet? No, no, you. Right. Heavy dry. bucket, empty bucket, wet sailor, dry sailor. You felt wet when you were in it, but you don't now. But the pod went right through it like it wasn't even there. You don't, you don't suppose we... we've passed the realm of science into... Do, is this like a fable thing? Like, do we have to catch fish and bring them to the moon man? And then it'll be like, good job for the moon fish. Go about your merry way. If you want to join uh, Captain I... Vacant's magic ship of ghost fish. Maybe they did a bad job at catching. Like, we're... This is... I, I don't like Ish is kind of losing it at this point. Like, I don't know. Like, what are we supposed to do? It's, we can't just I keep going. The engine's not out doing of anything. Look, look. What if we leave the moonbeam? 
we plummet from orbit uh, down to a rock hard Atlantic Ocean, I think. Which I is used to be floating. You didn't float. Look, but the cow didn't float. We have to consider that there are some people who have some answers for us, and they're in the boat next door. Uh, people. Reeves, how is your navigation? My uh, navigation. Uh, it, it's okay. It's okay. I, uh, I can't make any of you volunteer for it, but I think I myself will try and uh, cross to their ship and have a conversation with them. Oh, Skipper. They might know how to get out of this. They might have gotten trapped in it years ago, millennia ago, maybe. If they knew how to get out of it, would they be fishing them? I don't know. Maybe they like fishing the, the space fish. Well, I mean, the captain goes down with his ship, I guess. I mean, I want your opinion. This is not just my decision here. We're in a very dis dis distressing situation. I want to be able to find a way to get you back home. But I can't think of everything we keep trying. It's just we don't know what the fuck's going on. Well, did you bring us up here on purpose to join them? This is your paranoia. Why the hell would I do that? I've got uh, I've got money to spend at home. Yeah. Well, uh, what do you? How will you? How do you think you'll board? Well, I'm going to stop the ship. They seem to be kind of uh, curious about us. Maybe because they they haven't seen another ship up here. I'll just uh, put a plank across and walk over. See what they say. I'll see what. Just they, be careful, uh, Captain. You well, know, look, you guys look at, keep look in... at their. But look! Look at the way they're dressed. Right? They're all different periods of time. Yeah. It's like they're not a cohesive group of people. They're like lost fishermen or something. Yeah, yeah they may be spirits. I mean, there there may be ghosts. Maybe we. Maybe this is where all the stories come from. I mean, it could I, be all the men that were buried at sea or lost at sea. Well, it's not very many of them. No. Um, uh, that wasn't just one moonbeam, though. Maybe there's... Uh, how's the moon looking? Is it still going down? It's still going down ever so slowly. Is it still fully yeah. above the horizon, or is it partly below now it's starting to get partly below like it's kind of past that half i think when that thing is going under then we're going we're dropping mm -hmm. yeah well maybe maybe instead of going over if, if i just can start signaling them and asking them questions and i'll just be i'll be frank yes yeah, so, well i've got a flashlight i can do more <laughs> code um Fish needs to roll against crushing disappointment, I think. We, uh, I'll, uh, so this is in communication with them. Um, mm -hmm. we're not moon fishes like you. We're, uh, we're come from a different place and we've gotten caught on your moonbeams. It sounds crazy, but maybe they'll understand it, see what their response is. They respond with a question, um, like, like we used to be. Yeah. Question mark. Yes, we are like you used to be, but we have families. We want to get home. Uh, what happens if we leave the moonbeam? And they just, um, again, there's a whole big flash of warnings, and then um, fall comes back going to fall if we leave the moon being what's on the moon and they send back port oh but we breathe air there's no air on the moon
they don't have a response for you. Is there a place where the moonbeam comes close to the water so that we can get off the moonbeam and not fall very far? <coughs> and they respond back, yes, um, dangerous. Is it some place you could take us safely? And there's a pause, and you see them all kind of like look at each other. And then the one in the wheelhouse kind of gives this grave nod across to you and like kind of like beckons. What do you think, boys? We're going to follow where he goes? Maybe he'll save us. Maybe he won't, but I don't see any other choice. You know, it's a trap, Skipper. You know, it's got to be a trap. We're already trapped. The ghost guys just want more ghost guys to run their ghost ship with them. Maybe. I mean, it's either they do, we do the dangerous thing or we go back to port. If they're saying we fall, we die. I'd rather go to the moon's port and take a chance. You can leave a port again. You can't leave a fall from space. Captain, I think you uh, burn up. Skipper, why don't you ask him who buys their um, space fish hmm. on the moon? Who buys your space fish? Um, you see them, they signal back moon men. The moon men. What did you think and, the answer was going to be? And cats. And <laughs> cats. Yeah, right. It can't be that bad if it's got cats. No, I can't. This is all. Everyone of you is officially insane. Uh, I am done here. What are you going to do, Vince? I need, I need your opinion. What do I do? Uh, uh what? <clears throat> Uh, actually, uh, Captain Jim and I talked about this earlier, and uh, if there's any chance that we're going to end up with the ghosties, I'm just going overboard and taking my chance with dying. So if you want to take the whole boat to take a chance with dying, I have. Uh, sorry, we're being. Look, there's no point in committing suicide when you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, there's no point in fishing multiple-eyed squid monsters from the deep to feed them to fish on cats on the moon either. I mean, my mother is it's better than a difficult lady, but yeah. I, between you and your God, I'm, I'm happier in the ocean than I am on the you know, with the uh, Casper and friends. Look, you're not helping. I need to know what you guys want me to do, what the rest of you say. Do we follow the fishes? And they've given us no reason whatsoever to think that they're malicious. They've been communicating with us. Let's follow them and let them take us to where the ocean's near the boat. Yeah, I... I agree. I mean, if we're going to go and do a dangerous thing, that's it. Otherwise, I mean, if it gets too hairy, we catch a few fish and go back to port and then figure out where we stand there. Like, I I agree with you, Captain. I don't I don't think dying is what I want to do on this. Like, I want to get out of here. All right. I'm with you, Captain. Then let's go. And uh, I will signal the ship to say, uh, lead on, we'll follow. Okay, and they start leading you. Okay. And you're going, and they're slowly, like, moving forward to starboard. Okay. Very, very slowly. Um and as you're going, you start feeling the ship go up and down mm. and up and down. And then you see one of them breaks and this purplish, greenish 
bluish water splashes onto the ship and washes off. Everybody, um, everybody wrap uh, you know something around you so we don't get thrown off at least. Yeah, no reason to go halfway. And it's vi- more violent now, up and down, and you see swells. And then you see the swells start to darken. And then they start to look like a giant pair of those giant of those fish eyes. Huge. And the other the other the ship ahead of you signals prepare. The Leviathan has come. Everybody hold still or grab a hold. What do they mean by prepare? And you look over at their ship and you see old whaling harpoons and things start to be grabbed up. Captain, I told you we needed a harpoon gun! Well, maybe next time we get some points to spend, we could buy a harpoon gun. Add it to the cannon that you got last month. Oh no, it's still in the hold. Alright, so there... And this massive shadow moves beneath you and the other boat and starts to crest up. And yeah, you see... You saw the ones that were like car sized or bigger than your boat were big. Uh, this yeah. is New York skyscraper big. And it starts to move kind of over towards your boat. So, Skipper, I'm going to ask you for a piloting check. Okay, I had such good rolls. Jeez, I'm not jinxing it. 17, which is in piloting. That is, oh, I will spend four to make it an extreme. Okay, so you see one of these tendril things start to come down, and you slow the ship, and you wait for it to hit this water, and you ride this well up very expertly. Um the rest of you on the on the poop deck are around. Um, you see that the the people on the the ghost trawler in front of you are like stabbing at this thing as it like gets close to them. Okay. Keep holding on. Do we need to stab at it? Huh. I'm gonna try to fashion like our uh, yeah. gutting knife to like a pole. So I can help. We, we Roll mechanical have gaffs. repair. Yeah. We have gaffs. Yeah. We have long poles with Would I be able to assist with that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can grab hooks, gaffs. You can fashion gutting knives on the things. It's a 90. No. A lot of luck to spend. Probably just got, snaps off. I got an 07, yeah, which 07. is seven. an extreme. So Ish, you will your extreme will say helps Robbie's failure. You're like tie the def, tie the other knot, you know, like you're using Robbie, the wrong knot. You Basic sailing stuff. Just wrong use knot. duct tape. <laughs> There's yeah, a time and a place. Meticulously trying to dink <laughs> this knot. You just chuck a roll of duct tape at me. Okay, I'm sorry. Vince, what are you doing? I got a six. I'm. I guess I'm prodding. Yep. Moon particles popping off this thing as I push a gaff in and blither away. Jim, um, I rolled a one. Yeah, we are so on you, fire you, you get it right, you get it right in one of its eyes, and it reels back and it flops over again. So, Skipper, you need another pilot. That is a 60, so it's still a pass. Just a regular pass. It's a regular pass. All right, so a huge swell of water washes over the four people trying to fend it off. So the four of you can all roll luck. Glad I didn't spend 30 luck just now. (laughs) (laughs) I haven't spent a point of my 70 luck, and I just rolled a 99. 93. That's that's better than my 97. Okay, so 
This water splashes over, and the three of you are knocked down. But you are like you're starting to go slide off to the other edge of the boat. But since your skipper didn't fail, you're just knocked down for now. You're not up and over the side. Not overboard. Nice. So it's just Ish holding the line. Stab and so roll fighting brawl. From New You're... Bedford's heart, I stab at thee. Oh, three. My Which God. Is extreme. <laughs> nice. So My you pop get always it. told me I was going to end this way. So you take a page out of Jim's book and you wait for one of these eyes to kind of come out of the water and you poke at it. And it, again, it will move them with one, one last massive colossal splash. So one last pilot roll from you, Skipper. But as this thing dips back down and swims away. That is a 76. I will spend the six luck to make it a pass. All right. So the people who are, um, yeah, that swell issue, you stab it. And as the massive swell of water comes back up, you're knocked back down with the others, but you have driven it off. And is this water water now? Yeah, it's cold, it's salty. You start feeling wind. Oh. The wind, <laughs> the wind in my face. And you, you see this this, it, this trawler, the trawler in front of you like goes um and they've all like they've been jabbing away but they put the harpoons down and they start to kind of like curve in front of you so mm -hmm. that they're perpendicular. And they kind of like do a U-turn. Um, and they pass and they kind Thank of wave. <laughs> and as they start going away from you, you start to see they start going and they start going up and up and up and up. And then crash! You feel your ship almost tip on you as you are now in this massive storm in the North Atlantic. All right. We're all batting down. Um, I look at navigation, see if I can see nearest land. Yeah, you, you look at navigation, it looks like that massive uh, northeaster has come in. Um, your radio is, you hear this insane radio chatter. Yeah. Does anybody have eyes on the Osprey? Anybody have eyes on the Osprey? We can't keep this up much longer. Anybody? Yeah, I'll punch in. Yeah, we're here. Us? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, see, we, salt in the radio. Uh, sorry, silence. Uh, this is the Coast Guard's um, Coast Guard vessel Melville. Where are you? Uh, Location. Scrambled. Uh, one moment. Boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. GPS. Get that. Right. Uh, and as you as you guys kind of like bob up and down, you see this Coast Guard cutter start bobbing its way its way towards you. We see you, Osprey. Stand by. What if it's a trap, Jim? What if it's a trap? What Not this time. The Coast Guard. Not this time. Not this time. We're not out of the the danger yet. We're still running in the middle of a storm. And <laughs> yeah, you are in this middle of this massive storm in the Atlantic. And eventually this Coast Guard cutter makes its way over to you. Um, and seeing that your ship has sustained some substantial damage um, from some kind of crushing or falling, um, they tow you back into New Bedford. The time that you are towed back is around 2.17 a.m. on February the 6th. Oh, and that next is the day. End of, next day. Two days. That Two days. It's the end of our story. We tell him you should have seen the one that got away. If I go and oh, check the wow. fish hold bucket, is there anything? You go and left? you check the fish hold bucket. 
And there is just one little dream fish curled up in the bottom. Oh, yeah. He'll put a little little blanket or something to cover it for when he can get it off the ship. Mm. That is the end of our story. Very nice. Great. Very good, Morgan. I can think of some really interesting artwork for this one, but swirls going towards the moon. <laughs> I'm thinking of the sequel where I hunt down Ish Altman. <laughs> Personal vendetta over the course of years as he goes from university to university <laughs> trying to peddle his monster. You'll have to fight me and my monster. Oh, wait, we're on land. Uh-oh. He gives it some fish food and it suddenly starts multiplying like bacteria. <sighs> Our players included Julian Arba, David Gasway, Nathan Decker, Holly Buto, and myself with Morgan O'Wellen as the Keeper of Arcane Lore. We have a Discord server where you can chat with other members, you can set up private games, and you can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Podbean or iTunes. If you'd like to help support our show, please visit our Patreon account. Just a dollar to a month helps us a lot. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows. And leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answer any questions you might have. This is Tom Riley, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Until next time, good luck, good gaming. And at your game.